All right. Three contestants, three cars, three days of building, and we are now finally out in the desert, and we're about to get into the circle and fight it out. The name of my car is Das Kampf Car. Kampf is my last name, and that means fight, so I thought the fight car is a good, good name for this. My primary weapon is, of course, the skeet shooter. I think this will be best to take out the top targets. My second weapon is the chalk blasters. And I'm hoping that I can maybe mess up the other guys' windshields a little bit. Simone calls her car the ferocious beast. And frankly, it scares me in a way few vehicles ever have. My tactics is just spikes, spikes all the way. and things that swing, and I am the only one who has close combat weapons like that. So I guess I'm just going to try driving up next to them. I'm hoping that I can get their top targets. This is my scorpion tail, and I can drop it down just like poof. I introduced to this contest the warthog. <laughs> Come on, that's the most badass a station wagon has ever been dressed up to look. My active weapon is that pitching machine up top. That can hurl balls 25 miles an hour. And if I can get to the right distance, I should be able to handily take out the top targets on my opponent's car. My secret weapon, the rhino poo sprayer, will spray the dyed black animal birthing lubricant onto the windshield of my opponents. And I'm gonna follow that with the toilet paper shooter. Go ahead and try and get rid of lube and toilet paper on the windshield. You're just not gonna do it. I'm gonna blind them. That's my tactic. Just to recap, here's how it works. Each of the three cars is loaded with three crushable targets. Right there on the front left bumper, there's another one on the right bumper, and there's another one at the top of the car. While car-to-car -car contact is allowed, crashing into the low targets puts your own targets at risk. So strategy is far more important here than brute force. Each target is wired to a light on each driver's dashboard. The goal is to take out all three of those of your two opponents, at which point each of them will be slimed. And if you haven't been slimed, you're the winner. You're a ferocious beast. You're feared and admired. I just want to take out one tire. That's my humble ask. Just one tire. It's all, it's all a girl wants. Three cars there, one car leads. It's important to stay away from Simone because her weapons are super powerful, but she can't aim them. So as long as I keep my distance from Simone, I think I should be fine. So Adam will be my first target. Right now in this contest, I'm feeling like I'm running last. They both seem to have built cars ready to actually survive the apocalypse for us. Mine was just for a bit of fun. Oh my god, it's actually happening. but she has no idea who she's messing with. Turning on my ball shooter. I am determined to take out her top target. But I make a slight tactical error. Oh my god, I'm out of ammo. That's crazy, I can't be out of ammo. Ah! I just try to get away from the pack, and I try to fire the skeet shooter. 
The scariest thing was Laura Skeet Shooter. Laura's skeet shooter is firing at an impressive clip, but just like my ball shooter, she doesn't seem to be able to hit anything. And her chalk blasters? They're not doing much either. My ball shooter is empty, but every good engineer knows when to improvise. has two targets left. I've set my sights on Simone. Just as she deploys her tire-shredding scorpion tail. That hit took out a target on both our cars. We're all tied up with two targets left, but Simone's put herself in position for my rhino poop spray. Toilet paper gun jams, but suddenly both Simone and I are aware we have Laura between us. <laughs> Our attack backfires. Simone and I each lose a target while Laura escapes. Meanwhile, my rhino poo sprayer is having the desired effect on Simone's windshield. Oh wow, this place is awful! I can't see anything! I ran the windshield wipers and that was a bad move because it just smeared it. So I could barely see anything out of my windshield. I had like one little triangle in the corner that I could see through. Oh man! I have like one tiny little One life left. I've lost two of my tires. Simone's weapons are stupidly effective. I'm going for Laura's right flank. When I got over the point where I ran over my own bumper, the ski shooter failed, and that's where I realized I need to just fight. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, we are all down to our top targets. Once we all had our side targets out and we only had our top targets left, and Adam was out of balls, Laura's clay shooter was jammed, and I was like, okay, now I think this might be my game. Come on, baby!